Okay. Uh, last thing in terms of navigation that I want to make sure that you know is how to audit cells. So we want to always know how to figure out where these cells are actually pulling from. So for example, I see gross profit. I can see here that it's saying C2 minus C3, but C2 and C3 might not always be right next to each other. So a good way of auditing is using F2, where you can actually see uh, Excel highlights the different cells in various colors. And often you'll see people in Excel basically hitting escape, right arrow, F2. Escape, right arrow, F2. Escape, right arrow, F2. And what that does when you do it really fast is it lets you just kind of blink through and see where all of these cells are referencing. Another thing that you can do to audit cells is hitting command left square bracket. So that's the cell that is, or the key that is to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. So again, I can hit F2 to see it visually, or I can hit command left square bracket. And I can actually keep doing that. And it's gonna keep going until it has shown me all of the cells that are the source cells uh, for that formula. When formulas become a little bit more complex and involving many cell references, sometimes across even different worksheets like you see here on sheet three, you might want to go to the formulas tab and use the trace precedence function. So hit trace precedence. And if you hit this, or if you click this black arrow, which is saying the references within this cell are on a different sheet. If I click that arrow, it'll actually allow me to see and actually go to the cells that it is referencing. To get rid of that, you can simply remove the arrows.